What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and let's talk about stimulus, student loan debt forgiveness, and some details about taxes that are coming out. Now, I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, as you guys know, this is the first of many executive orders from the president for stimulus that we've been hearing that it was gonna be on the way here, and we're getting some more details about this. Now, we're hearing that this could be challenged here very soon, but I wanna get you caught up on some information that's starting to roll out for those of you uh, that are gonna be benefiting from this provision if it passes through. So first off, take a look at some of the headlines that are coming out on this, you guys. If you've been paying for federal student loans during the pandemic, here's how you can get a refund. That's right. So uh, during this entire time, if you've been paying it off throughout the course of the pandemic, they're saying that this student loan forgiveness, it's still applies to you and you can get a check, a refund for payments that have been made. Now, in addition to that, taxes. Let's talk about taxes. Now, it turns out residents in these 13 states could pay taxes on their student loan relief. Now, this is just on a state level, not on a federal level, but there are 13 states where they're saying, if you receive this benefit of up to $10,000, you're going to have to pay taxes on a state level for those benefits. And here's how soon experts say that Biden's student loan forgiveness will reflect in your account. So we're going to get you caught up as to when this is going to be applied uh, to your student loans as well. Now, you guys, as I mentioned to you, we've heard that this is just one of many to come, that there's going to be more coming. Uh, progressives, Democrats in Congress have said child tax credits, possibly uh, fourth federal level stimulus checks, wiping out student loan debt, social security increases, free child care, free college tuition. All of these are things that we've heard Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Pramila Jayapal, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren say that they will not rest until they see these come to pass. Now, we will see. I will keep you up to date. But you guys, as midterm elections approach, it is becoming more and more likely that these things are going to be coming to fruition. And we will see because uh, right now things are ramping up. Now, I'm going to get you caught up on the latest of this first executive order in action that has come by President Joe Biden on student loan debt forgiveness. Now, before we do, though, and I dive into the official websites, get you all the details, uh, also wanted to mention that today the Relief Roadmap, www.reliefroadmap.com, has hit 10,000 people that have signed up on the wait list to get access to the comprehensive list of every single stimulus check in the nation. And you guys, uh, I have compiled over a hundred different checks. A lot of people think there's just the federal level checks. There's not. There's hundreds of billions of dollars for states, cities, counties, and a year later after the last stimulus package, the American Rescue Plan, they're finally starting to send out the money and send out checks. And people don't realize this is available and they're missing out all the time. Well, I'm gonna make sure that nobody here on my channel misses out. I'm gonna keep you up to date. I've got that list. It is on the website. I'm just working on a few details. Gonna launch it here in the coming days. So if you haven't already, add your email, get on the wait list. Gonna launch here in the next coming days. It's gonna be this week. You're gonna have access to everything and I'm gonna make sure you don't miss out on anything. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Again, if you haven't already, add your email, www.reliefroadmap.com. But you guys, let's dive into these articles, get you caught up on the latest. Now, before we do, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate these updates, don't forget, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If you wanna stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not come join the Ram Fam? All you gotta do is very quickly hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. And with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into these articles and get you caught up on the latest. Now, first off, take a look at this. All articles linked in the description below if you'd like to read them for yourself. If you've been paying for federal student loans during the pandemic, here's how you can get a refund. Now, if you've been paying throughout, they're going to tell you that you're going to get this money back. It says, thanks to the federal student loan repayment moratorium that's been in place since March of 2020, student loan borrowers have not had to make loan payments or accrue additional interest on their debts. Some, however, use this opportunity to put all of their money towards paying down the debt principal and get ahead on their loans. Now, because of President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness, it turns out that they may be eligible to receive a refund for any payments made during the pause. Now, jumping down, it says for those who kept paying on their federal student loans uh, throughout the moratorium, 
There is even better news than just possibly student loan forgiveness, which you will qualify for. It says a specific clause of the Federal Student Loan Aid website indicates that you can receive all of those funds back, specifically if it says you can get a refund for any payment, including auto debited payments that you made during the payment pause beginning from March 13th of 2020 all the way through to the current time. So you guys, uh, for example, it says, let's say that you paid $8,000 on your balance prior to the pandemic and then you paid 3,000 after March 13th of 2020. It says, leaving you with a current balance of 5,000. If you ask for a refund from your services, your payment that will be issued to you back, uh, it will come in cash. So uh, you will receive $3,000 for that amount. So you're gonna get a total of 8,000. They're gonna wipe out your current debt plus refund you what you paid, so up to $10,000. Now, the student loan debt forgiveness though, you do have to pay taxes on a state level in some states. So this is coming out again, link in the description below this article coming out from the Hill if you'd like to read it in more detail. Residents of 13 states who receive debt forgiveness from the federal government for their student loans may need to pay some state taxes on their forgiveness amount, according to analysis by a think tank from the Tax Foundation. Now, jumping down, gonna get right to it for you. It says the states where residents may need to pay taxes on the forgiven debts are Arkansas, Hawaii, Idaho, Kentucky, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Mississippi, New York, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. So if you reside in one of those 13 states, you're gonna have to pay state taxes uh, on this student loan debt forgiveness. Now, again, that's not on a federal level, uh, so you don't have to pay federal taxes, but on those states, you are gonna have to pay state taxes. Now, when, if this goes through, and it is not challenged, as we have heard is possibly gonna be on the way here, I'll keep you up to date, uh, when can you expect to see this applied to your account? Well, here's how soon experts say Biden's student loan forgiveness will reflect. So, jumping down, it says, in order to receive forgiveness, most federal student loan borrowers whose income qualifies will need to submit an application form detailing their income. Now, I'm gonna share with you the official site here in just a second. Now, according to uh, this analyst, this can add time to the process. We don't know yet how complex the forms are gonna be. It says it will be available in early October, so in about a month or so. If loan forgiveness ends up being uh, challenged in court, it might get delayed even further, but what they're saying is jumping down that you can expect to see this in October and hopefully it'll be applied right away before November 15th of 2022. So we will see you guys now. Here is the official website. Again, a link in the description below for those of you that are interested. Federal Student Aid an office of the U.S. Department of Education, the official website of the United States government. It says the Biden-Harris administration student debt relief plan explain what the program means to you and what's going to be coming next. It says the Department of Education, go to their subscription page. You'll have until the end of 2023 to be able to apply for the student loan forgiveness summarized. Now, if you take a look at the actual U.S. Department of Education page, here's where you can subscribe for the subscription updates uh, and where you can find out about student loan debt, you guys. So they're saying that more information is gonna be rolling out in the coming weeks, giving you details about the application process. Uh, you can try to see if you can get in with a regular grant, with the Pell Grants, and get up to $10,000 or $20,000 of student loan debt forgiveness. Now, as I mentioned though, this is if things go according to plan. We're gonna be seeing though if these executive orders are challenged in court, if it's deemed unlawful for the president to do so, and we're gonna be seeing if more executive orders for additional provisions are gonna be coming here on the way. We've heard a lot lately about Social Security, so we will see if that is gonna be the next move by the Democrats in Congress. We will see you guys. I will keep you up to date every step of the way. But if you've got student loans and this applies to you, here is all the information all linked in the description below for your use, you guys. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me. That is the latest that's coming out on the student loan debt forgiveness and stimulus. Uh, if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash that like button. Helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. If you got any specific questions for me, uh, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. If you want to stay up to date, it's totally 
totally free. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Uh, if you haven't already, add your email at the waitlist at www.reliefroadmap.com to get access to the comprehensive list of every single stimulus check in the nation. Gonna have that released to you here very soon, you guys. Also, I've got a second channel, Steve Ram Finance. Consider joining if you wanna learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.